Here we go. This is how you do it. So I must cancel one of the olive exports. Let's cancel this one. Mm. Ooh. So you actually get a lot more money for foreign trade than domestic. That's interesting. I did not know that. I did not know that. Well, in that case, we're canceling this then. Yes. That's good though. It actually tells you uh, that yes, now you get cap yeah, surplus. That's right. So there's n there's no other shite I've fucked up here. All in three all in three. No, everything else just has one resource. Ooh, we don't have iron thing anymore. What? Did the fucking slaves go away again? They did! Why? Where are they going? Where are these slaves going to? I don't understand. Okay, noted. Relying on like, I don't understand. Give me slaves in this cursed land. So I can get some actual iron bonus. That will be fixed though, I assume. Because that, that's an obvious, like... That, that's a result of the, the current mechanic clashing with the old ones. So I won't actually shit too hard on that. Earthenware, no. City distance, pinion. The Armenian revolt. Yeah, let's not mess with them. So we'd have to do something that gave us like. Base metals, how useful are they? Court recruit speed, that's dumb. Ah, but that's that's domestic production though, so that's nothing we can mess with. Does marble give? Sorry for just sitting here doing nothing for a while, but it's important to figure this crap out. Surplus in capital with current. Oh yeah, we do. No mind. So glass would give me extra religious tech investment. I want that. So. I swear we had a fuck ton of that in some other random province. Yes, we have two glass there, but the export bonus is actually better than the import one. And because directing the production properly isn't super effective. So there's no pops to move here, fair enough. No, no clever way to get extra glass. I might just have to import some random crap that I am might be over. Well, I don't I wouldn't argue I'm overthinking it, but I'm I am 
I can't come up with anything useful. Having a stone surplus in the capital would be awesome, though. Yeah, that was dumb. That was dumb. Hello, import from China, everything is there. <laughs> At least made there. Hey John. Basically, I opened another trade route, and so now I'm figuring, trying to like desperately figure out what I'm supposed to put here. Although it really does seem like there's nothing clever I can really do other than to just do some basic crap. Because I'm trying to get another capital bonus, but it doesn't seem like that's going to work out. And eventually, I want to change my capital anyways, so I really am overthinking things. Uh, just do. Do oh. fucking like are these Freeman happy? Yeah, they're bloody livid. There we go. That's yeah. That's a bit of extra manpower. So, Dimkomf. Perhaps I am. Closing in on extra stability though, and I'm, I'm really starting to see how this whole scorn family thing can be really bad. Uh, I used to joke about how pointless it was to mess with that, but it might actually be really bad to ignore it like I've been. I'm starting to see why you might actually want to care. Right, there's the stability, so now we can unscorn these guys. Yeah, this guy's a pretty good dude in general. Wait, assassinate? Assassinate some ra- okay, well, I don't care. We can definitely replace you here. There we go. And now everything is good. Nope. Now the Zeonids are pissed. Yes, yeah, small families are a curse. A pretty bloody blight. Right, you're good at scroll stuff. 
so you can be scroll man here. Yay! Scroll man! Now will you shut up? No! <coughs> now the Anak Sakra did are angry. And their entire family is useless, so I can kind of see why I haven't appointed them to anything. I wish I could just, like, pay them. Just, like, with bear anyone can be happy. Oh, yeah. See, that's, that's what this game needs. It needs a mechanic where you can just send money to these dumbass families so they can just shut up. Or, like, they want... Okay, so the thing is that they want state revenue. And, like, okay, but, like, how, how, can I just, like, pay you? Can I just give you something? Like, just, I'll, I'll just give you some made-up uh, government position that doesn't actually do anything, but that gives you money, and that way you can shut up and let actually useful people do stuff. Well, it's got seven, like, martial crap, so... Weren't the Atropaltids the guy that were being angry? Yeah, I think we're just... Not achieving much. Veterans do. They want to... Yeah. Wait, what? What are what demand are we meaning? Have you seen all the Minecraft series already? Um, conquer, burn, pillage your neighbors. Uh, I have been wanting to do that, yeah. But I've been unable to fabricate. Oh, never mind. I already have a claim. And Casas Belly. Well. I guess we are going to war then. Thank you for reminding me of my martial duties to the nation. Uh, unless he posted something today, I've seen it all. A son! Yes! This is what we need! Alright, live another 13 years and then we can keep the family going. Yeah, I've seen the I did an oopsie in Minecraft episode. Poop pee poo 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 and stuff like that. Do you know what do you how do you feel about what happened to the water sheep memorial? That he took the money from it? That's fine. Certain practicalities must be made. Like, don't get me wrong, I am very much a wait. Wait, is that this is this another son or is this Ariston. No, that's just a random kid. Mm. Yeah, keep it secret. I'm not gonna kill my own child. That would be evil. I am evil, but I'm not evil evil, you know? There's a difference. Blessing of Athena. Excellent. Pragmatist, yeah. Yeah, here they come, being salty. Damn it. How? How am I supposed to fix this? I guess religious technology gets to be shit. Yeah. 
There we go. See? Is this, is this what you want? You want our nation to suck? What the fuck? Don't you kill all the pirates? I try, but they keep... They keep killing me. I've been trying to build up a navy to fight them, but every time I fight them... Well, they fight back and I die. It's bad. It's quite, quite bad. Also, pirates in this version of the game are insane, so I feel like I have some excuse. Oops. And there goes my people. Excellent. So that's uh, some border gore cleaned up. Uh, and Sparta is still not something I can invade, or is it? They guaranteed my Cyrenica. That might not be too bad, though. I feel like I can take them on. Ooh. Never mind, we cannot... Yeah, we can fight Serenica, but we cannot find Macedon and Egypt. Wait, Macedon and Egypt are friends? No, they're just... Uh, yeah, they're just friends with Serenica. Got you. Yeah, no, it really does seem like the expansion must continue in the west. The east is too just spooked. We got all kinds of claims on these lands. They're guaranteeing everything and every one, and they do not actually have any friends. So if we can just get a real army build up here, then a war against the um, the scumbags over here might actually make a certain amount of sense. So let's save up some money, kill some um, pirates, and build some units. I feel like my army could do it some more heavy boys. Your navy is shite. Uh, but you need, yeah, you need, uh, have you beat this game yet? Nope. No, I have not, Lord Rain. This is my first real serious game. I did some, like, shenanigans as the Seleucid Empire, but I thought the mana stuff was dumb, and so I couldn't be bothered much with it. Following families consider themselves scorned, but these families are dumb, and so that's fine by me, to be honest. Can I just kill them all? I wish I could just like, like, who invited you? Why are you a family in my in the empire? Random as Roman families. Whose idea was that? None of that adds up. Also, maybe we should actually pick up this these brigades of heavy boys kind of like while we're here still don't understand where all these slaves are going are they all just being promoted to like um, free men are migrating away Citizen will grow. Mm, yeah, fuckers. Yeah, I can't. I don't want to lose the ability right now. Now oh, is that gonna? Be, yeah. Now the arthropods are spooked again. Uh, okay. Embrace aristocratic monarchy. Uh, something to consider. 30 stability though. Oof. Bonuses are nice and all. Yeah, citizen happiness is pretty good. But... None of these governments let me have the ideas that I want. I'm already not getting the bonuses from my current government form. 
Because I really want state religion. It's so good. Like, just a 10% bonus to your civilization level, like, nationally. How good is that? Yeah, like, that in itself is a 10% bonus to citizen happiness and freeman happiness. Or something like that. So, so, like, why? How is culture spread? John likes killing things. This kind of this game kind of reminds me of Stellaris. Oh, that's a comparison I've not heard before. I haven't played enough Stellaris though, so maybe you're all right. Not that there necessarily are any like right and wrong kind of things with those things. It seems to me I want just more cavalry. And then we'll have two nice armies. I wish you could just turn off the like, you're getting murdered by pirates pop up. Because, like, I know. I know. Pirates ahoy! Speaking of fucking pirates. Uh, are importing elephants and using them in your army useful? Yeah, I think elephants are really good. Way better than they were historically anyways. I've never gotten the opportunity to import them and so I've never done so. But yes. Uh, importing elephants would let you build elephant units and you only need one region that can build them. And they give you 5% manpower, which is really good. I don't know enough about the game, though. Show culture spread in Italy, please. Oh, wow. That was fast. <laughs> it's already all become Cretion. Yeah, culture conversion in this version of the game is completely stupid. You can see, like, all of the East has just become Macedonian. <laughs> uh... Now, I have actually, like, done some, like, government crap. Um, to, like, increase it. Yeah, I have cultural dissemination. Speaking of, I need to do one more. Yeah, I need to do anti-piracy edict, but for now I won't do that. Never mind, I can just... Get the anti-piracy edict. Yes. Oh wow, I just got the anti-piracy edict for free without actually having to pay any stability. Excellent. Uh, also, yeah, I don't actually want to fight this pirate navy, so if we could not do that, that would be great, because I have a lot of really nice troops on board that I don't want to die. Oh, eh, nice enough victory. Are you the people's rabbit rabbits? I assume that's a reference that I'm too stupid to get. Feels dumb, man. Green F dumb or whatever that however that emote goes. Also, why is there no cavalry model in this? Why this is a horse unit. It should have like a little horse dude riding around. Like in the big picture, I get kind of why that's pointless, but still. But that's what we've gotten used to now, so. Also, this army cannot really handle all of these influx, all this influx of units. Actually, no, it barely can. Yeah. Cool beans. That button doesn't work. Honestly, I could do it with some heavy infantry. I'm gonna like have 40, like stacks of 40. So five, three, that's eight. So I need eight men. Gachi boss. Five. Up, up, up. 
Uh, let's let the navy recover a bit. Keep an eye out for pirates, of course. Pirates in this game are dumb. Honestly, I wouldn't have minded if they, the game just didn't launch with pirates and that was like a thing they added in DLC or something. Although I can kind of see how no one would want to buy a DLC that just fucks up your nation, so... <laughs> I kind of get why they were doing what they were doing, but still. It was a joke about how your culture is spreading like rabbits. Oh, okay. But th to be fair, though, if I'm going to be a little like, actually... Um... Ooh, extra bill. Okay, well, sorry, I got distracted, but yeah. It's actually just like they're assimilating into my culture. They're not actually, like, you know... They're not actually, um... Breeding or outbreeding the uh, the enemy. <laughs> Not enemy, but yeah, you know what I mean. Maybe. Hey, a douchebag died. Excellent. Ah, I think that was the cunt that was supporting my dudes. Nikeretos. He is 47. He is... Yeah, I can take a popularity hit. Now, let's wait and see if any families are feeling scorned. No, you're all good? Alright. No. Oh, yeah, but... Oh, okay. Had a... So, that pop-up actually permanently goes away, does it? Yeah, I kind of need some of these families to be happy, so... ADHD is what he actually said. I thought it was a misspelling, so I just read Anne Green. <laughs> Damn it. Making yourself look like a douchebag. Or like just like a moron, I guess. What is this? Pump? Who are these people? Who are you? Go away. Die. Like, you. All these dumbass families are gonna bitch at me. Oh, it's not seven units, not eight. Wow, not only am I easily distracted, I can't count. You have dyslexia green? Uh, no. But I am bad at reading. So I'm not like, I'm not bad to the point where I have dyslexia, but I am definitely bad. Uh, Creek case closed temples. I like that. That is worth it. Soon enough we can stab pigs too, so. Good things are coming our way, people. But yeah, this is going to be a pretty nasty war. Um. So now, now I can actually see what this province has. Horses? Ooh. What do you get for double horse? Light cavalry discipline. That's not super useful, considering I only do heavy cav, like a boss. Okay, already has fish bonus, glass wine. Ooh, it has earthen bear? Cruising croton. Oh. Yeah, it's just a steel. It's the steel. If I can conquer Rome, or like the province of Rome, I can get that cursed iron. 
Which, fuck, I would actually have to invade Rome itself to make that happen, then, wouldn't I? Ah, but I already, I already do have a claim there. And, of course, they're guaranteed by Phrygia. What is this joke of a nightmare? Although, I guess what I could do is invade... Yeah, I can invade Pyrrhus, and that way I can get Roman Marcia. Good plan. Triple horse? Triple horse doesn't matter. Basically, the mechanic is that if you have double horse, or if you have double anything in your capital, you get bonus. So, you know, I have, I'm have i importing two salt. That gives me uh, extra... Uh, yeah, it reduces army maintenance. I have double wood, because I produced two of them in my capital, giving me... Uh, hot, uh, it, it, yeah, it makes ship recruitment easier. Uh, yeah, the, and yeah, there's a bunch of crap. The, the, every, basically, if you have a if you have a surplus of a trade good in your capital, you get a specific bonus related to said trade good. Epirus is on the mainland of Greece. Yeah, I know. It's one of the funny parts of this campaign is that Epirus starts here, in well, you know, Epirus. But then they got conquered by Macedon. But before they had gotten conquered, they had like conquered some provinces in uh, in Italy. And by and they had actually like conquered this entire like chunk here, but then they uh, allied Rome, which is super funny because Rome and Epirus were historically enemies with the whole Pyrrhic Wars and crap. Um, they allied and tried to fight Picentia, and then lost and got shit upon, which is funny because before all of this again, Epirus and Rome would fight, because at that point Rome was super big. But then some shenanigans happened and Rome got conquered by Sabinia, but then they fell apart. There is a lot of shenanigans that has been happening on this peninsula. It's been very dynamic. I like this. This is fun. The East has been very stagnant, but that's also fun in a way because it's realistic. It makes sense that the empires are kind of just stuck, not being able to do much. Even if the Egyptians have slowly been pushing into the Levant and Macedonia has been conquering the southern chunk here. But the rest of all of these areas are guaranteed by... Macedon? Okay, interesting. I guess they're guaranteeing it to stop me. Which they are, which they are successfully doing. Thrace has actually expanded a bit too. Interesting. Right, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, let's get a. Well, actually not. Let's start maintaining the army. I desire Krieg. Right, let's send out our navy and do some murdering of pirates. And then we'll stop funding the fleet. Then again, maybe... Actually, do you have fleet? Pick, pick, boy? No. So maybe having uh, some ships against him would be useful. Right now, though, I just want to nuke some pirates. I'm sick of having everything raided by them. I missed memes, man. Yeah. Many memes have happened. Ah, oh, wrong, going the wrong way. This could be good. Excellent. I, I like how, yeah, this is cool though. Like, we're doing the opposite thing that they've been doing to me this entire campaign. And we do have anti-piracy edict, so we could start like, um, we could start like putting armies in these promises with these pirate navies and actually like forcing them out of port. Yeah, honestly, that this sounds fun. Let's try that before I do anything else. Oh, that's a good one. Or a powerful one. Sorry, I got a bit distracted there by this meme, meme meister. Uh, tank corruption. Nah, I don't want corruption. I don't actually necessarily know what that does specifically, but... Okay, well, I guess we can just go in this direction. That's fine. So, right, so now we do root out pirates. Wait, they just vanish like that?
Not sure. Okay, so I guess having a navy out here was smart because they died then, or... Hmm, much to learn, much to learn. Get a tick in, get some repairs. Actually, they're already good. And then root boys out. Pirate. So now. Okay, so rooting out the pirate haven does not actually root out the pirates, they're just kind of there. How do I how do I like actually kill them? There is definitely much to learn. What I miss? What do you mean? Are you asking about some specific things or Can you not see where people have forts? No, I guess not. Alright, uh, so this army served its purpose. And so did these guys. 42 is the answer. Yep. Forty-two is not the answer, though. Everything is the answer to the question, what did it cost? That's how memes work. Forty-two is an ancient meme by these days. I doubt they even called it a meme. So 80k troops, thick, thick manpower, he has 70,000, uh, and not thick manpower, and he has not thick money. I think this is looking as it's going to be a glorious conquest. We might even pick up some mercenaries just to take less attrition to our manpower. 